Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and today I am going to be doing a video of revamping our outdoor terrace garden area. Now I haven't done a video on this area for a while and it is February 2021. The sun is shining gorgeously today and all our evergreen plants are doing so well out here. So we've decided that we want to put a lovely little cafe area on the outside of our outdoor terrace garden area that we have behind this piece of wood here. We have a sit area, but it's in the shade. We want to be able to sit in the sun. So we've got a lovely little set, which means I need to move some of the plants around, rearrange the pots and make this all merge together as a beautiful new outdoor garden design outside of an apartment and up on a ledge, kind of. So we're just going to get on with this. I'm going to show you the whole area I'm going to work with and then we will do a little bit of fast forward as we move everything around and then I will show you the final result at the end and I really hope you get inspired to get out and make yourself a lovely creative outdoor terrace garden area where you can sit and enjoy the sun because you don't need to have much space a little bit of space is enough let's see what we do here today so if we start here, you can see a lot of all the different varieties of evergreen plants I have. And I've had these plants out here for a few years now, and they've been doing really, really well. So I have all sorts of things from boxwood to junipers to hedra helix. And now and again, the cyclamen come up in between. They came up again this year and flowered beautifully, but then we had some frost minus six degrees and that killed them all off and they disappeared and that is why i just mainly want to stick with all sorts of evergreen plants here because they've just looked wonderful all winter and they will look wonderful all summer and i think i will get in and do a little bit of pruning on my boxwood bushes just to keep them a little bit round but i don't mind them growing up a little bit as well because i think that also looks very nice so this is all going to be transformed Look at this lovely boxwoods I have that I made myself. I found a load of cuttings on the floor outside of the local library and I decided to make these some beautiful plants out of them. Let's get on with the tidying. So now we have hoovered the first area. Now we're ready to move the first flower pot around to this corner. So that's the first pot moved and this ivy behind will be able to grow up onto this part of the wood here. Perfect. So even though I have my wonderful Hedra Helix growing, my ivy, English ivy, growing up the side here, I'm going to have to move it because we need to move this pot to make space for putting all the nice pots that I brought home myself by hand from China, Shanghai and Beijing. And I want those to be around where our new seating area is going to be. This is no problem because the ivy grows very quickly, so it will just bounce back. It seems unreal that we're out here being able to tidy up our outdoor terrace garden in February when it's supposed to be the coldest month of the year, but it is sunny, shiny and absolutely gorgeous at the moment. So if you look here, I have all this ivy left over from where I had to prune it back to be able to move the pots, but that's okay. I can repot all of these in my other pots and they will flush out roots and grow on. This is lots and lots of cuttings that have been beautiful soil propagations and they are very easy to just carry on. Um, I usually just cut the bottom of the stem at a slant and then place it in the soil, keep the soil moist and they will just take off. Just a little bit more whizzing around, tidying up and this area is going to be perfect. <laughs> I have some more plants that need to be tidied up and all sorts but for now, I just need to do a little bit of hoovering where we're going to place our coffee set and then I can rearrange all the pots. So this is our wonderful table we got here from Ikea. It's this coffee set that everyone knows. But we found this one in a red colour. So it's going to give a little bit more pizzazz in this outdoor terrace garden area. Look at that. <laughs> And if you're interested in this IKEA set, it's called Tanu, and I will put the name on the screen. This is actually the first time these large pots have ever been moved from this position since we've lived in this apartment, and we've been here at least three years now. So it's really nice to be able to get in and do a thorough cleanup. 
So, all the initial cleaning is done. Now we're ready to start putting our little coffee set in place. This is so exciting. So it takes us a little bit of time to work out exactly where we want to put our table and our chairs and our pots and to make sure there's space around everything. And then we had to test the sun was right on our face, which it is. It's absolutely perfect at this time of year. In the early spring season, the sun comes down lower than the ledge we have out here. So we get the sun all day long from around about nine o'clock in the morning till at least five o'clock in the evening at the moment. And we're going to get a lot more than that. Then in the summer, the sun is a little bit higher, but it'll still be perfect. So we've finally got everything into place here. You can see our table and chairs here. They look absolutely fantastic here in the sunshine with the beautiful boxwoods and other evergreen plants around. And this set with the red legs is absolutely beautiful. You find it often in brown and black, but I found this red set and it's just wonderful. And I just want to show you some of the plants we have out here. This is an asparagus fern that I found dumped two years ago at least, two, three years ago, and I've had it outside all the time, all year, I just prune it back and it pops out every single season and looks amazing. It's taken temperatures of up to minus six degrees here during the winter, so that is pretty good. Here you can see one of my beautiful Dracaena plants down here. I've put some of my house plants outside just for the video, the purpose of this video, to show you what I'm going to do later in the season when it's warmer. I will be adding my house plants to the plant collection outside so they can have a period of summer weather and hopefully beneficial insects on them and not insects that are going to harm them and some direct sunshine or at least indirect sunshine on them and follow the rhythms of the day naturally. I'm really looking forward to that. You can see here I've placed a Sansevieria next to my boxwoods here. And yeah, I think I'm going to put a lot more of my Sansevieria plants, my Dracaenas, outside for the summer. They're really going to enjoy being in the sun for a while. And of course, they're all evergreen plants too. <laughs> so they match perfectly with all the other plants out here. Look at these wonderful white pots I have here. These are pots that I found at Ikea. They don't have drainage holes in them, but the plants are in plastic pots inside those cash pole pots. So they should be absolutely fine. If they do ever get overwatered, I'll be able to lift them out and just tip away the water. Um, but it saves getting water all over the place like I do every time I water these plants out here. <laughs> these junipers I've had quite a few years now. They've been growing really, really well and they've done really well in the pots. I have actually taken them up once, halved their roots so that I could put fresh soil in the bottom of the pot for them to grow out again. And that's a very good idea because they do get root bound very quickly. They grow a lot of roots and then there will be, well, hardly any soil left. It will be completely compact. So it's good to go in and halve the roots of the plants so that you can start them off again. And then they won't grow too top heavy, <laughs> as we can say, as well, if you want to keep them more compact in this kind of situation. Now here you can see a couple more of my house plants. This is my Zamia coca, Zamia folia raven. It's going to look lovely out here in the summer. And then this is one of my Dracaena plants. And you can see they're in terracotta pots, which is perfect because I'd be able to put them in these pots out here that are bigger and just cover the surface with bark. And then they'll look like they're planted in these cover pots outside. So at the end of the season, I'll be able to easily lift those up and take them back indoors. But at the same time, the terracotta pots will be breathable so that when I water them, there won't be any problem with that either. Here I have a new, there you could see a Norway spruce in a pot, which is in an ideal situation for a Norway spruce. But this has been there for over a year and has got through this winter. It still looks pretty good. And here you can see my beautiful porcelain fountain 
that I carried home with me from Beijing in China. Fell in love with it. Look at the beautiful artwork on it. Hand painted crabs or lobsters or shrimps or something like that. I think they're shrimps. <laughs> but the water filters up and around and it has a lovely sound. And when you're sitting out in an outdoor cafe area like this, the sound is just so soothing. It's beautiful and it's just a lovely design. That stays out all winter long here as well. And I just give it one clean off for a whole year again. And once again, just for show for now, I have my Ficus Elastica here, this burgundy variety that I will have out here when it starts getting warmer. And I will fill the area out with my beautiful houseplants. I can't wait for that. Now here you can see my little Pinocchio. This little Pinocchio I found at the flower market in the middle of Paris. And I've had it for absolutely years and it looks gorgeous out here with everything else that's going on. Our lovely chairs with cushions and our imitation grass that we've had in different outdoor areas in different apartments and it's an absolutely fantastic ground cover it gives that lovely lush green color makes everything really feel like a garden now look out here it's an amazing transformation two very different seating areas in one small area filled with plants and the feeling is well we have this enclosed area which is cozy and then we have the outer area, which is in the sun. We can say hi to our neighbors and it all just makes us feel so happy. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing how we reorganized this outdoor terrace garden here, the tidying up, the moving around of the pots. I've also replanted some of my plants. All these evergreen plants have been green all winter. I haven't had to fuss very much with the plants out here and that is absolutely perfect. All the neighbours that walk up and down the alleyway here get to see all of this and enjoy it just as much as us as they go past. And I know they do because I see them stop up and point and look at everything and that makes me really, really happy. So now, as I said, we have our outdoor cafe area and our inside private area with our lounge chairs that you saw in the close-up part of the video. But before I round off the video completely, I do want to show you how I'm going to propagate my Hedra Helix, my ivy plant, and I put them the cuttings I took off the plants you took, saw earlier in this vase for now. I'm just going to put this on the table because I told you that sometimes I make a slit at the bottom or a V-shape and then plant the stalk into the pot. But another good suggestion for doing this is this. If I should take one of these stalks, so I'll take one that's not too tightly in here. I've crammed them in so I'm not gonna get them out. Uh, let's see. Okay. I've got a stalk here. So this I can actually split into as many pieces as I want, but I want to have longer pieces when I plant. Plant below a grouping of leaves and you should see some nodes on the stem so you know that the roots will come out of that part. This one has a few bad leaves at the bottom. Take the bottom leaves off so you have a decent amount of stem. And then on the edge of the stem, scratch up the side a little bit, like this. That will encourage the plant to grow out more roots along the stem here. So this is ready now to be put into a pot, just like this. For example, if I want to put it in this pot, I would just go, dig a little hole, place it in, put the soil around, and that's it done. So I will get on with all of these and place them around any areas where I feel like it needs to be filled out a little bit more because I know that these are gonna take off during the summer. They're in my hanging baskets, they're in all the different baskets here with all the boxwoods I have as well because they're plants that don't need so much care. All they need is a little prune now and again and they need to be watered thoroughly through when they've dried out. And in the summer, the summers are getting very hot. They really do need to be watered quite a lot. But during the winter, it's damp. You don't hardly have to worry about them. I water them now and again. So with all my wonderful porcelain here and my new seating area, I'm just gonna get on with this and that's it. 
So, all I have to say now is thank you very much once again for watching Gardens Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be uploaded. And I will see you again very, very soon. Good. <laughs> Goodbye.